Every two years, the West Coast Eagles take a trip to Cambodia to help build schools and houses for local communities. Last year's trip was both an educational and eye-opening one for all as they took a visit to the Prison Museum and Killing Fields. Eagle Vision's very own rock star, Martin Akoski, was there to check it out. We're here at the Tuol Sleng Prison, which was actually a primary school before the Khmer Rouge regime took it over as a place of interrogation and torture. Let's go join the boys and take a look around. And you can also see here this shark hole. It's used to lock the ankles of the victims. So both victim ankles were put in the... The objective room. of the Khmer Rouge was to have a society where everyone was equal and that wouldn't challenge what they wanted to do. And so, therefore, they eliminated anyone who had any education uh, who or looked like had any education and anyone related to them. That was the purpose of the prison. The pictures, to show the life of the people, seem to be... I think the pictures say, uh, say more than anything I can say, which is these are all the victims of the Khmer Rouge regime. Um, pretty big perspective punch for myself and, and for all the boys that are here, uh, that these people went through a pretty treacherous time and obviously lost their lives as well. Yeah, I think it's obviously uh, something us guys in Australia are definitely not used to. Um, I know it's pretty hard hitting for, for all the boys. I think it's an opportunity to really bring them closer together. Um, they get to see each other in a different light, get to know each other, which is so important in team sport. Um, but also to see that some of the hardships these people have faced, um, we don't have to experience that and uh, we can keep pushing and keep striving for what we want. Um, probably the biggest, biggest thing to take out of the prison just because some of the guys our age and a lot, lot younger um, are no longer with us. and. Um, it's, it's very confronting. We've just arrived here at the Killing Fields after being at the Tuel Slang Prison. It's pretty devastating to think that so many innocent victims lost their lives right here. It's a pretty harrowing experience. It strikes home on a lot of different levels. For the players, they, uh, that's part of their learning about why Cambodia ended up the way it was, how it all happened and how brutal it was. And then to see uh, you know, just the brutality of shipping people out to a killing field, just knowing that a truckload of people were going to get slaughtered you know, over a period of time, uh, day in, day out, for three or four years, was um, you just can't understand or even imagine it. Right here is a 5 by 15 metre grave for 450 innocent Cambodians that were slaughtered. Their bodies have since been exhumed and peacefully laid to rest. I don't know, it's sort of disgusted just the way people were treated, you know. 450 people just piled on each other and, yeah, I don't know, it's just something that, you know, it's out of this world and it's just how it was be, just looking around. It's like, I thought it was just hills, but they're all, they're all graves. So there's over two million people mm. here, so it's, yeah, it's, a big, it's a big deal. Once again, a scary reminder of what's actually happened here. We're just walking down the path, and what looks like a piece of throwaway cloth is actually clothing from an innocent victim that's lost their life. Water erosion's washed it to the surface. Caretakers actually ask all visitors to leave certain pieces alone, and they'll go back later, pick them up, and put them in the shrine. Well, we found in the last, the last trip that um, we were able to have a real emotional impact on our players. There's an opportunity to really reflect on, on the good and bad things that have happened here in Cambodia and as well as for the players themselves. And they are able to draw really good links with that. And uh, this trip is all about just that emotional discovery, I suppose, and a really op good opportunity to reflect. You think about how lucky you are back home that things like this don't happen and it's not in our past, but um, you know, other places around the world where people aren't as lucky so yeah there's been a lot of suffering here and I think that's what's really um yeah really got my attention. I just appreciate you know what I don't know just um my parents and just the football club and just opportunities I have back home. And it just sort of proves to us how, how lucky we are living in Australia um not having to face all this and um being in a very lucky country so I think that was definitely the most sort of significant thing at the Killingfields today.